This is a cage trap of the approximate size that you would use if you wanted to live capture squirrels. Uh, as you can see, it's your standard cage trap. Captures the animal alive. It's a wire-based trap with a door. To open it, you simply fold that little spring part back, raise the door open, and there's a small hook here at the top that slides under the door that holds it open. Now that trap is in the set position. You can see this catch is hooked to the treadle in the back of the uh, trap. Place your bait in the back for squirrels, pecans, uh, peanuts, any nut type bait works very well. Uh, it can be placed on the top of the house, along the base of the house, wherever the squirrels are a problem. You can elevate it, you can catch them on the ground, up off the ground. Uh, it is, they're really fairly simple to catch. You can use it in a wide variety of areas. But it's just simply placed in a flat position where the animal walks in, squirrel comes in to get the bait, steps on the pedal, and the door closes and you have your trap and you pick them up and you have it. Now, squirrels are generally regulated by the state wildlife agency, so of course you always need to check with your officer to make sure you have the proper permits and all to capture them, but that's a standard squirrel trap. You could also use a trap like this for smaller animals, perhaps chipmunks. If you're interested in catching rabbits, you'd probably need a little longer trap. The size would be okay, but you'd need it a little longer because rabbits are, of course, a little bit bigger. But any kind of small uh, animal like that would work in these traps. The difference is the bait. Of course, with squirrels, nuts would work well. For rabbits, some type of leafy vegetable matter, uh, cabbage or lettuce or something like that. Uh, chipmunks, peanuts works well, uh, those kind of things. The grid space, the smaller, if you get too small an animal, they can get out of this, depending on the wire. And some traps, you can actually, small traps, you can get with the grid space even smaller. So you might want to, if you get down to the chipmunk and trying to catch mice or something in this, you might want a little smaller mesh size, but otherwise a fairly versatile trap. Uh, you can get these in most hardware stores and farmers co-ops. Uh, if they don't have them in stock, they can order them for you. But if you have access to the internet, there's plenty of mail order trap supply houses that you can pull up and scan through, pick out the one you want, and they'll ship it to you. And remember, with all these trapping uh, systems, you want to check with your local wildlife officer to make sure you have the proper permits in place. As some, such as the raccoon, are considered uh, fur bears and regulated by season. So just always check with your local officer to make sure you're in good shape that way.